and we're back once again. These two screws do not belong in the top two areas over there. They actually belong down here in the top left and the bottom right of this RF shield area. I think I'm judging by the way that this particular disassembly is going and the reassembly actually. You know, I had a couple options when I was considering making this video, sort of like, you know, disassembly is the reverse of reassembly, right? I think that would have been a exceptionally lazy thing to do. I would not have felt particularly comfortable with releasing something like that, especially given that Making these videos is ostensibly supposed to provide some type of value for someone who is going to be taking a look and learning more about uh, something that they're interested in, something that they enjoy. And I really do want these videos to help. So. I would definitely not do that, but it's something to consider. Oh, by the way, if I haven't mentioned before, well, actually, I think I did, but those two screws that were originally, I mistakenly placed here in the top left and right of this cartridge loader on the shield over here, they actually belong here on the RF shield. So on the top left and the bottom right. And then, the other two screws that go into the shield actually do not go there quite yet because this metal shield needs to go over that first. So let's go ahead and position the shield so that it is over where it needs to be. Aligning with the screw posts. So at this point, there should be a separate screws for the shield six screws for the other side of the cover. So let's go ahead and continue to put those screws where they need to be starting from the left and working clockwise. You can work in whichever orientation or direction that you would like. So like I was saying before, I think, you know, all things considered, if I want to continue providing value by making these types of disassembly videos, I think that the GameCube video is probably, or that series, is probably going to be pretty tedious. Um, I think what I'm going to do is regarding the cadence for that, because I have other projects that I am going to be videotaping and working on. And disassembly videos are, even though, and reassembly as well, even though it's, it's something to do, I guess, it's not really the type of content I would like to be making. I would much more prefer to be looking at projects, looking at things that are broken, seeing how they can be repaired, and getting into things that are more complicated than, you know, just assembling and reassembling something that's already working. So there's going to definitely be more to come on that. I have some projects coming in the mail. So we are going to take a look at that. I have a little CRT monitor that, uh, I'm going to be using for testing. And regarding the GameCube disassembly series, I will continue with it, but I think the cadence is probably going to be a once a month for those videos. It's, uh, they are quite tedious. I'm going to upload other content, <coughs> excuse me, on this channel. 
hopefully beginning to get into more repair and refurbishment oriented videos. So once we place the top case back to where it needs to be, we have six screws of equal length and they are also, like we've said in a previous video, uh, Phillips head screws. So we will simply just place them where they need to be, dropping them into these holes. And then beginning to screw them back into place. You know, speaking of the GameCube disassembly videos, I know that, you know, at the time that most likely this video is going to go up on YouTube and that's going to be posted. I probably did not receive any comments yet. However, one thing that I would like to know is for whoever is watching these videos, if you actually find these disassembly videos useful, because if you do, then that's great. I can continue making them and maybe uh, I can take some requests. However, if not, then and maybe I will do them with less frequency. There are definitely other things I'm going to be working on that do not involve game consoles. For example, there are broken vacuum cleaners. There are uh, dysfunctional games I have. There are a number of other different appliances and fixtures, laptops, that kind of thing that I can actually do some a real fault finding on something that would involve continuity testing and some more in-depth knowledge of the application to determine a fix. And now I'm just double checking all these holes making sure that everything is secured, hands tight as it should be. Okay. Yep. Okay. And there we go. So that is the Nintendo Entertainment System disassembly series complete. This is likely going to be part C of whatever number video this is, since I don't want to edit these videos. And uh, the Final Cut Pro doesn't like me, so. Yeah, that's the Nintendo Entertainment System, the full disassembly and reassembly of the console. Like I was saying before, if you have any ideas regarding what you would like to see on this channel or anything that you're curious about, then feel free to leave a comment and I can look into it and see what I can do. I'm definitely trying to make a more consistent upload schedule. Right now I'm following around once a week for videos in general. It's going to be once a month for disassembly videos moving forward. However, if you have any other suggestions, thoughts, then uh, let me know. So thank you all for watching. I know it's uh, it's been a while coming, but here it is and I hope you enjoy. And I hope that through looking at all this, you have found some interesting information or insights that would be of some utility to you. So thanks everyone. And uh, I hope you all have a great day.